here at Total Carbide, we uh, purchase different metal powders. We mix them, we mill them, the process is called pole milling, and we granulate these, and then we compact the powders, we freeze into them, we shape them, we use automatic pressing, robotic pressing, we use CNC shaping facilities, and also some manual shaping facilities. And then we center hip our materials, and then we have a whole range of finishing processes where we finish to tolerances up to one thousandth of a millimeter. And our accuracy for flatness can be less than one light band, which cannot be measured mechanically, but needs to be measured optically. Since we've moved into Westcourt, um, we have some projects for the defense industry, and uh, with the industrial environment we're in here, together with other companies, that's very helpful. We're definitely interested to encourage a cluster for aerospace engineering, defense engineering, and engineering in general, because it goes with what we want to do as a company. Yeah, we're really pleased that we managed to secure a 200,000 pound contract for Rolls-Royce air engine supply chain. So when you fly on holiday next time and you look at the engines, there's something in there that was made at West Coast Venture Park at Total Carbide. And we're very pleased because it's the first order of the size that we have from the aerospace industry. Definitely, it is an endorsement of the quality that we're able to deliver. And it's an endorsement of the stability of our process. So we've had uh, approximately one year of Rolls-Royce managers visiting our company, turning everything upside down to make sure they get exactly what they want. And they were happy with it. And so are we. Total Carbide uh, was bought by, uh, approximately 10 years ago by a group of companies and they disposed of the land and um, so we knew that we had to leave in 10 years time and um, uh, towards the end of that period we looked um, uh, where to move to. So um, Bestcourt was the only site that I had um, at the time when we were looking. I had enough water supply because of the system hydrants, because of the rocket propulsion, to be able to cool our furnaces. Um, Westcott had also enough electricity, and the uh, owners of Westcott had put us a substation next to the company to satisfy our electricity demand. The Westcott Venture Park, the owners, Box Spring, uh, were very um, flexible uh, in terms of. Uh, the fitting out of the building in terms of um, uh, paying for the lighting, for example, or LED lighting, and, um, and in terms of the conditions in general. It is a good idea to come to West Adventure Park because it's a very pleasant environment. And it's a lot of space, uh, a lot of space to grow for a company, and uh, there are more and more services that you can make use of within the park and more businesses moving in. Other benefits in the site are that Westcott is located between Aylesbury and Bicester and um, so we have access to the workforce because they're both the um, engineering towns. Since we've moved to the new site we have employed four apprentices, two per year and I intend to carry on with them. Uh, I also have a partnership with the local training college, ATG, where I uh, provide information and uh, lecture uh, in spring this year uh, for a program that's called Engineering the Future. I think we are a driving force to improve the quality of engineering in this area. A very exciting place to be for the future. And it also has a good, a good exciting history, which is good when you want to tell a story to the aerospace people. And you say this is the hangar where the Wellington Bombers were stationed. So they feel as if they have something of their own um, in, in the company. <laughs>